This morning, there's no change to Knox County Schools mask policy after the school board chairman proposed a change. Current policy states masks must be worn in class. Now, some want an exception for fine arts students while performing. Parents are arguing both sides. One mother brought up that athletes are allowed to play contact sports without masks, while another cited CDC guidance saying singing is one of the easiest ways to spread the virus. A decision was ultimately put off. And right now, we're looking into comments board member Mike McMillan made during that debate, trying to say guidance from the World Health Organization should not be trusted. This is what the rep from the Carter and Gibbs community had to say. When somebody mentioned uh, the World Health Organization, uh, I wouldn't put any confidence whatsoever in that organization because it's highly controlled by the... Uh, there, there are a number of countries that... Are, that belong to it, but it is uh, bought, paid for, and controlled by the uh, uh, Chinese Communist Party. Uh, that's that's proven fact. So we looked into McMillan's claims, and here's what we found. The WHO is funded by a range of donations from member countries. China did fund the WHO in 2018 and 2019, but it ranks 15th on the list of top donors. You can see that highlighted here in green. That's behind the U.S. and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation highlighted in blue, as well as several other countries. The Chinese Communist Party itself is not listed among the top 20 donors. So we can verify the World Health Organization is not controlled by China or the Chinese Communist Party.